My name is Marcus G. Welcome to my channel. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Chicago Fire's Severide and Ferraris are besties on screen and off. Here's no shortage of hijinks on the Chicago Fire set. Miranda Ray Mayo, a Costello, literally said in a Tonight Show interview, it's a circus. I mean, truly, we're loud, we're laughing, very much like a firehouse. It's very vibrant. Fans saw an example of this on Instagram this summer when Randy Flagler, who plays Cap, shared a video of Taylor Kinney, Severide, playfully kissing Tony Ferrarist on the cheek. Fun fact. Ferraris is actually a real-life firefighter and plays a character based on himself. He even has the same name. Ferraris had no idea the kiss was coming. He was getting spray-misted on set, probably to cool down in between action scenes, when Kinney ran up to him and planted a kiss on his cheek, then stuck out his tongue for good measure. Shenanigans, indeed. Related. Why you recognize Toya Turner? the new star of Chicago PD. Chicago Fire season 13 is coming soon. Related. Dermot Mulroney, cast on Chicago Fire as new chief. What to know, D-E-T-A-I-L-S. Fans ready for new Chicago Fire episodes don't have to wait long. Season 13 premieres on NBC Wednesday, September 25 at 9 slash 8 C, and next day on Peacock. It's never lost on me how special it is to be a part of something with the longevity this has, Kinney told us weekly in 2022. It's a testament to show creator, Dick Wolf, and the team of people he puts together. Details on what the new season will entail are sparse. But whatever happens, the cast will certainly have a blast while filming. This video of Kinney and Ferraris is proof of that. As Kara Kilmer, Brett, who left the show after season 12, told NBC Insider, There is such a core principle of humor and friendship that continues to keep us going. I think that's what's really special about our show in particular. That humorous spirit is what keeps the actors sane during the more emotional moments of filming, like when beloved characters depart. This cast is definitely very familiar with losing people that we love, Kilmer said. We said goodbye to Charlie, we said goodbye to Monica and Yuri and Jesse and Annie. We've had a lot of people come and go. In addition to Brett, season 12 saw an exit from Gallo, Alberto Rosend, plus a step down from Eamon Walker, Bowden, as a series regular. Dermot Mulroney, cast on Chicago Fire as new chief. What to know, D-E-T-A-I-L-S. It was announced on July 25, that the star would be joining the Chicago Fire cast for season 13. Ooge news for Chicago Fire fans. After 12 years as Battalion Chief Wallace Bowden, Eamon Walker is stepping down as a series regular. His character was promoted to Deputy Commissioner of the Chicago Fire Department. We don't know just yet what's next for his future on the show, but we do know who is taking on the position of Chief at Firehouse 51. Dermot Mulroney Dermot Mulroney will join the cast of Chicago Fire as Chief Dom Pascal. Pascal began his career in Chicago, but spent the last decade in Miami, and his personality is equally sunny. He's cheerful and good under pressure, but estranged from his wife. And fear not, it looks like Bowden isn't gone gone. Thank you, but we are all going to see each other again, Bowden told the firefighters at the end of season 12. There is no need for a big goodbye. Related. What happened to Stephen R. McQueen's character, Jimmy Borelli, on Chicago Fire? Where you've seen Dermot Mulroney. Mulroney has an extensive resume of both television and film projects. He got his big break in 1988's Young Guns and went on to star in movies like Longtime Companion, My Best Friend's Wedding, about Schmidt and the Family Stone. He had memorable arcs on shows like Friends and New Girl, and also has experience in a firefighter TV show, appearing in five episodes of Station 19 Season 2. Oh, 
And as Saturday Night Live once pointed out, he is not Dylan McDermott. Mulroney will have fun with the Chicago Fire gang. In an interview with Jimmy Fallon, Chicago Fire star Miranda Ray Mayo characterized the atmospheres on the various One Chicago shows. When you go to med set, it's like a sophisticated dinner party. You know what I mean. It's like people are reading books, everybody's talking softly. Then you go to PD, and they're a little rougher, Mayo said. And then you go to fire, and it's a circus. I mean, truly, we're loud, we're laughing. Very much like a firehouse. It's very vibrant, she added. Sounds like Mulroney's in for some fun. Really did. Hanukkah Greensmith sang Hallelujah, and her soulful voice will enrapture you. Chicago Fire returns for season 13 soon. Chicago Fire premieres September 25 on NBC and will occupy its normal time slot. Wednesdays at 9 slash 8 C. NBC Insider chatted with Chicago Fire showrunner Andrew Newman about what the many changes and staff swaps at Firehouse 51 could mean for the future. It is a new era of Chicago Fire in lots of ways, though the core family is still together and will need each other to manage the twists and turns ahead, Newman said. Fans can expect some darker themes with new challenges, battles, and thrills as things get shaken up at 51. You can catch up on all the ups, downs, romances, and heartbreaks of the first 12 seasons on Peacock. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe my Fast Gossip 24 to our channel and stay with us.